Seems like it's pretty common to get uh, a quarter century rare. Maybe, I don't know. Very good price. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. What's up guys and welcome to another epic unboxing of the new Rarity Collection 2. Yes, and it came, comes in this weird box. It comes in a weird box. Let me show you the other previous box. So this is the previous box of Rarity Collection 1 compared to Rarity Collection 2. Now granted, now granted, this feels a lot more packed in like uh, all that jazz, but However, comma, the thing that really pisses a lot of people off, to, to include myself a little bit as well, is a very, very expensive box for as small as it is, and there's only 18 packs per box. 18 times the disappointments, probably. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I got a lot to talk about, so before we ramble too much on it, you guys know the drill. Press a like for love. Now, as, I, as I'm looking over this box real quick, I'll just show you guys the box real quick. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a very, very small box. Uh, I'll probably have the dimensions in the bottom of the screen there. But uh, yeah, it's a very small box. And it's only 18 packs. So it's very, very much packed in. My local card shop is selling this for about 140 bucks, but you could probably get it online for a little bit cheaper. I think I saw it for as cheap as $113, but it's still an expensive pack for just 18. 18 cards or 18 packs, whatever. So let's talk about some of the high value pulls here. Now, granted, these are pre-sale prices that, that it just literally came out yesterday for me. And I only just got my hands on it today. And of course I'm releasing this video a week later. So we'll see how those prices change. I'll have the prices for a week later, as well as the pre-sale prices and see if it changes or fluctuates. And if that top three actually changes or not. But the number one card as of right now is the, of course, the quarter century suit rare of the Apollyulis Bow of the Goddess, the alternative art at currently at the market price of $108.76. The second highest is the IP Masqueria, um, alternative art as well, pre-sale, of course, prices at $107.50. And the third highest being the Assess Code Talker, also, of course, quarter century rare at $82.68. So, to be honest, that's actually kind of low. Not gonna lie, uh, for a quarter century rare, that's actually really low. I'm kind of expecting a little bit higher. Um, the the cards itself is cheaper than the actual pack itself, like the actual booster box itself. So, uh, it might go up a week later. Um, you've obviously seen that um, in the edits than uh, I would. But uh, yeah, those are the three highest. and. I'm still excited for it, but I'm still gonna try and grab as much as I can of it. I'm still trying to complete the Rare Collection 1. Um, I'm still not quite done with that set. I'm probably about, at this point, maybe 70% done. Well, I'm looking for the scissors here. All right, but uh, yeah, we're gonna hold, go ahead and crack it open and just see how, how it's stored. All right, guys, before we get into this epic unboxing, today's video is, of course, sponsored by our boys at Dragon Shield. They sent me this box recently. And obviously, you got to have sleeves to protect your collection, especially if you're trying to get the rare collections and getting all 500, somewhat 600 cards. But these are the ones that I use right now, the clear mats, because I definitely like the feel of it from the back of it. And um, it's you can actually double sleeve if you want to, especially if you put it in your binders. And I just like having the clear look, but it's multiple different designs you can get, but these are just the ones that I use. And I definitely, definitely recommend to sleeve up your cards, especially for a collector. Check out that affiliate link. It's an Amazon affiliate link that does help support the show, getting you videos like this every single week. But I love you guys, whether you click the link or not. But I know you guys are excited for more Rarity Collection too. Let's do this. Peace. Now I believe, if I recall, I think this is how the Japanese version looks as well. It's like this kind of small box. I'm kind of hoping it's not always going to be this box because I, I do like the, the way the other box looks just for, you know, for my purposes. But I definitely, and it's, it's, it's a nice change of pace, I guess, but I definitely prefer the traditional booster box than just this. But I know it's only <laughs> 18 packs. What the hell? So expensive. Even when I was talking to my card shop, well, um, they were telling me like, yeah, this is like the most expensive launch price ever. So this is actually without the, the little you know, screen there. So you can kind of see there. It's, that's, a, that's a nice touch. It's a nice touch. But uh, yeah, but uh, who knows? Who knows how it goes? 
So definitely guys, if you haven't already done so, press the like for luck. Now, how do I open this? I think it's from, there we go. Oh, it just slides out. Okay, that makes sense. It's kind of cool, kind of nifty, kind of nifty. So yeah, it's just kind of stacked in like that. All right. Ooh. Pack R right there, nothing too fancy. It's just a blue version of what we just saw. But yeah, let's go and do this. First edition. Now, what I will say about this is um, it does come in more rarities, as they say, because I think the original uh, only had five cards, I think. Um, now it has nine, so it has double the potential rarities that you can get in here. But uh, it's still only nine cards per pack, so it's like the traditional thing. I, I don't, I don't know if there's a pack trick to this, but uh, I assume it's like maybe probably three or four to the front. So we'll, we'll just do that. Starting strong, I think, <laughs> I think, is the ultra rare enemy controller, the Econ. So yeah, very, very cool. We have a secret rare of the ultimate slayer. Also very cool. Now this is the soul and Luna, also secret rare. Another ultimate slayer, but this is only the super rare version. And then another super rare uh, pressured plant Raph, Raph Strahd, Sloth. Slot. And this looks to be a only a super, the number 38 Hope Dragon Titanic Galac uh, Gal uh, Galaxy. This is, uh, brings back nostalgia right here, the ultra of the mystical space typhoon. Very cool. And another ultra rare here of the gold sarcophagus. And an ultra rare of the forbidden lance. So I don't think that that was the correct card trick. I don't know, I guess we'll play on the second, on the second round. But besides the enemy controller, I think that was, that was the only one that was like, maybe worth any money. So let's see what the, the, high, the high value is. Since there's, they, they don't have the, the, the listing of the prices yet on TCG Player, uh, I'm kind of going with, uh, you know, finding out individuals if, if they even have it. All right, so the highest card that I found was the Ultimate Slayer at $3.29. So not too bad, not too shabby. That would have been a point in a versus. Speaking of versus, of course, we got to do a rarity one versus rarity two versus. That's probably next week, I'm not sure, but that's going to be an epic versus down the road. Make sure I don't open up these packs. Okay. All right, pack number two. If you have any ideas for like a, another potential versus using Rarity 1, Rarity 2, whatever, Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh! or another Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Yu-Gi-Oh! Let me know in the comments down below. All right, I'm not gonna do a pack trick. I'm just gonna go from the top here. We have the number 60 Dogos, the Timeless, super rare only. We have the TG Hyper Librarian. And I do see a quarter century rare in here. We have the Gold Org and Snow Rabbit Ultra Rare. We have the Pretty Pretty Memory Ultra Rare. We have the Book of the Ellipse. We have another pot card here with the Pot of Duality. And we have a, looks like a Secret Rare Fusion Deployment. And yes, we do pull our first quarter century rare. I'll, I'll, I'll look at that in a moment here. So it looks like it's just maybe one to the front maybe uh, for the uh, potential card. But yeah, this one is the Book of Eclipse also, uh, super rare. And now, actually no, this is not a quarter century, is it? No, this is not. This is the, uh, I think this is the Platinum Secret. Yeah, this is the new Platinum Secret. It looks like it, it kind of looks like a starlight a little bit or maybe a, a quarter century but it doesn't have the 25th anniversary emblem that's how you can tell if it's a 25th anniversary uh, secret rare but this is just the the new platinum secret rare and i i don't know i'm, I'm kind of liking it i'm kind of liking it terrible centering though top to bottom is bad so it's not it's not gradable it's not gradable but let's check out the price they're saying that there's an alternate art 
Let me see. Okay, it's gotta be that one. All right. So yeah, this is the uh, the alternate art. Okay. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments as well, but I'm showing here a market price of six dollars and thirty eight cents. Very very cool. Um, how do you guys feel about this new 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 look of the Platinum Secrets? Do you like this one more than the previous Platinum Secrets? I don't know. Let me know. I'm kind of like I'm mixed on it. Kind of mixed on it. Next. All right, just one to the front, I guess. Okay, we have the uh, Trap Tricks Raffle, Raffleisa, Raffleisa, I guess. We have a, a super rare of the Rescue Cat. The Exo Sisters uh, Magnifica, super rare. We have Ultra Rare of the Book of Moon. Ultra rare of the Garuga, Garu, yeah, Garuga, Garura, Garura wings of the Redness Red Light, I guess. We have an ultra rare of the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Looks very cool, an ultra rare variant. We have the Psychic and Punisher, ultra rare. We have a secret rare of that Rescue Cat. Looks like there's Two, two versions of the rescue cat and then we have a secret rare of the polarization i'm assuming this is going to be the high value one maybe <laughs> i don't know all right i thought it was the polarization but it was not it's actually the cat the cat is actually more valuable but the alternative art version so this one is two dollars and sixty cents that was kind of surprising but i guess I guess. All right, I'm still gonna go one to the front. All right, another second, second again, Punisher. Super. We have the DD Crow. Super. Okay. We have the Psy Flame, F uh, Flame Lord Omega. Super. This is a nostalgic card for me, only because I have a collector's rare version of this. It is the Skull Meister, but this one is only Ultra. And we do get a new rarity here. I believe this is the collector's rare. This can't be the ultimate rare, is it? It doesn't talk about any sparkles though. If that's the case, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Um, but yeah, I, I believe this is the prismatic. Like, it looks like an ultimate rare, but it has like a weird like dot, like, like, I don't know, sparkles or dots or, I don't know if you can see that in the video or not. But I, I'm not liking it. And then uh, we have an ultra rare of the Aluba, the Jester of Desperia. And then we have the Illusion of Chaos, ultra rare. The secret rare of the uh, Pressure Planet, Wrath. And a secret of the TG Hyper Librarian. But I'm assuming this is the high value one. Yeah, this actually might be collector's rare. Prismatic collector's rare. All right, I think it's the prismatic collector's rare after another look at it. Because you, you can kind of tell on the side because it has that collector's rare, almost like a fingerprint thing that I was telling you about. But then it has those like, those dust par particles, if you will. Like, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's just a prismatic collector's rare, which of course I never really liked to begin with. The market price for this one is three dollars and fifty-two cents. I don't know. What do you guys think about the pr prismatic collector's rare? I don't know. I'm not feeling that one at all. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I do get a, a a true ultimate rare so I can see what it really looks like. But I'm I'm like eighty percent sure that's the collector's rare. All right, we have a uh, super of the Raiko, the Light Sworn Hunter. Heretic, the Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. The Emergency Teleport, super as well. All right, so this, no, this one, yeah, this one for sure is um, the ultimate rare. Yeah, 
It doesn't have that weird little sparkles. Okay. Perfect timing, actually. I'm going I'm to show that at the end. And then we have an ultra rare of the Solemn, Solemn Strike. Another ultra rare of the... Oh, this is the, the one that we want in a quarter century rare. Oh, one of the ultra rares is going to be more valuable, but you can check out that price in a moment. The Droll and Lock Bird. The Magician's Soul. Ooh! Another good rarity here. We actually have decent rarities. All right, I'll show this uh, ultimate rare here. This is the, the XC Encore. Now you can tell this one is the ultimate rare. It doesn't have those weird little, that, that little dot things all around it. And the edges, of course, are a lot more smoother. It doesn't look, look, look like fingerprints. But we actually have quite a few rarities here I want to check out the prices for. But of course, the final card is a quarter century. This is a like legit quarter century rare. The Psychic N Punisher, quarter century. Uh, you can tell it's quarter century because of the 25th emblem right there. It takes a hot minute to find out what rarities I have. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go in a, in a level of order here. Let's check out the Apollo Bow of the Goddess price. If the quarter century is high, maybe the ultimate rare is high. So this one, the market price is actually really high. <laughs> $5.56 cents for this one. That's actually really high. Let's check out the XC Encore ultimate rare. All right, there's no market price for this one, but at least the median price as of right now is $1.99. Decent, points worthy, that's for sure. And finally, the quarter century rare. Very nice. This is $12.86. But for quarter century rare, it's actually kind of low, but it is the highest value I got so far from this set. And my first quarter century rare. All right, we have the Bingo Machine Go. Super rare. The primal, the primal planet per lilio, I think, <laughs> whatever that word is, super rare only. Polymerization, super rare as well. Ultra rare of the Exo Sisters pack. Ultra rare of the TG Hyper Librarian. Ultra rare of the uh, Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. And we got an ultimate, rare, oh, sorry, collector's rare. I'm so confused with the rarities now. Because now this one looks more like a collector's rare. Because this one looks totally different, guys. This looks like, like a traditional collector's rare to me. Especially with the borders look like fingerprints, as I mentioned. But it doesn't have those prominent of the dots from the previous. What the geez? We'll, we'll check out that price in a moment. We have an, a secret rare of the blue eyes. Jet Dragon, secret only, and a secret of the Wings of Life. Collector's rare, I guess. What's was, what, what, what the price on this one? Once I get more used to th these sets, I'll, I'll know more about them, I guess. All right, this is actually a really good price though. Market price of $7.35. But these are all pre-sale prices though, so I'm sure prices will change very much so in, a, in weeks to come. All right, we have the Foolish Burial, it's only a super. We have the uh, Access Code Talker, also super. The Preparation of Rights, super. We have the As uh, IP Masqueria Ultra Rare, I believe this is the alternative art. There's also some kind of weird stuff happening on the top there. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's almost like they, whatever their shine is that they're doing is kind of spreading to other cards. Almost like glitter, I guess. All right, we have an ultimate rare of the Cosmic Cyclone. This is for sure ultimate rare. And then we have another ultimate rare of the Coral Dragon. Terrible centering though. And then we have a ultra rare of the Guardian Chimera. And then that new prismatic secret rare, the Unchained Souls of Rage. Terrible, seven on these cards though. 
and then the Chaos Hunter Secret Only. I'm not sure which one is the highest value, so we're gonna look at all of them. Okay, this one is actually a much higher at $3.52, Ultimate Rare. Check out this, oh, the other Ultimate Rare. Ooh, this is actually really good. $6.46 for this one. And now the final one is the Prismatic Secret Rare. I don't know. Platinum Secret, I think is what it's called. Also very good price. $6.75 for this one. So definitely some high values for sure, but like these are all pre-sale prices. I'm, I'm sure like I'm curious to see what the price would be like, you know, a week later, especially when I get more used to the rarities. Some a, a lot of these rarities, for those that mean I know, uh, are first time coming out in the US. So I think a lot of these were originally only printed in Asia, uh, especially the, the prismatic stuff. The uh, XC Encore Super. The Underworld Goddess of the Closed World Super. The Rescue Rabbit Super. This is the alternative one. And then we have the Collector's Rare of the Illusion of Chaos. It looks very cool, actually. And then we have uh, Ultra Rare of the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Ultra Rare of the Fantastical Dragon Palm uh, Farm. Phantasma, I guess. Phantasma. And then an uh, ultra rare of the Unchained Soul of Rage. And then we do another ooh, a quarter century rare. Ooh, yes. Of the Cross Out Designator. Quarter century. And then, of course, the uh, secret rare of the Abomination's Prison for the final card. Now we're going to check out two prices here. Check out this Illusion of Chaos. See, th this one has a little sparkle, so th this is definitely Collector's Rare. I, I wonder why the other Collector's Rare didn't have it. Unless I missed, maybe, maybe I just didn't see it because the, the, the lighting here is not the greatest. But uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I just don't, maybe I just can't see me. I'm blind. But this is uh, clearly the Collector's Rare. Illusion of Chaos. Decent price at $5.98 for this one. And of course that Quarter Century Rare my second today seems like it's pretty common to get uh, a quarter century rare maybe i don't know i'm not sure how much it is per box but so far i got two already and i'm like nowhere near halfway done very good price hold oh, down hold oh, down 68 dollars at 83 cents you know that's what i'm talking about <laughs> now i i I'm curious to see what the price would be like in, down the road, but so far that's that's one that, that's the big one. That's the big one there. All right, we have the solemn warning. We have the solemn warning. We have the ghost motor of moonlit chills. We have the ultra rare of the enemy controller. The the alternative of the rescue rabbit. Oh, here. Uh, and then the Rescue Cat. I think this is just Ultra Rare. And then we have the Ultra Rare of the Masquerade of the Blazing Dragon. If it wasn't super valuable. Yeah, it's the Ultimate Rare of the Rescue Cat. Check out that price. Secret Rare of the Cosmic Cyclone. And a Secret of the Charge of the Light Brigade. Right, ultimate rare. Yeah, ultimate rare has looked so much better than the collector's rare. So much better. Yeah, you, you can definitely tell. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just blind. I don't know. I think it's the alternative art. Oh, it's not. It's not the alternative art. All right, not too shabby here. Five dollars and ninety-eight cents. That's the one thing I will say about the alternative arts versus the non-alternative art. It's like, like. If you don't really know, you won't know that's an alternative art. But uh, you have to kind of like just research and find out. But in Pokemon, I think it's a little bit easier to find out which ones are alternative arts. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But they usually have some kind of... It feels like it's easier Pokemon. I don't know why. 
All right, we have the Psychic and Punisher, Super only. The Mystical Space Typhoon, Super. The Coral Dragon, Super. The Ultra Rare of the Bingo Machine, Go. Go, go. The TC um, Hyper Librarian, Ultra. The Ultra of the Abyss Dweller. And looks like a ultra rare of the just the purely. And another quarter century rare. Really? Wow. My my friend Pearly, my friendly Pearly. Quarter century. Check out that prize at a moment. And then we have the cross out designator. Secret only though. But we're definitely gonna check out this quarter century. This is like my what, my third one already? Who's doing a tail right now? Quarter century secret rare. Well, this one is not, not as high, but it's, it's still decent. Right? $17.25. Very, very nice. Third quarter century rare today. Now, I'm not sure, not sure if I'll get another one. Like, is there four per box, maybe? Is it five per box? I doubt it'll be five per box. I don't know. Okay, we have the Forbidden Lance Super. We have the Super of the Anti-Spell Fragrance. The Super of the Ghost Org and Snow Rabbit. We have a Ultimate Rare of the Pearly Pretty Memory. It looks very pretty. And then we have the Collector's Rare of just the Purely. Yeah, you can probably tell, you can see it there. Especially with those two next to each other. The ultimate rare of the ultimate sacrifice. The ultra rare of the my friend Pearly. Secret rare of the Book of Moon. And a secret rare of the Exo Sisters Magnifica. Alright, check out these two prices. Alright, this one's actually decent at $6.99. Ooh, lower than I expected. Okay, two dollars and seventy-two cents for this one, but still points worthy. Now, the one thing that's kind of like uh, I kind of want to wait out a little bit longer before I do a versus of this is the fact that, it's, especially if, if you know you have a quarter century rare or a uh, uh, prismatic, I feel like it's almost guaranteed that those cards are going to be at least one point. Um, but the chance, of course, of getting like the um, the four pointers or the three pointers maybe a little bit harder maybe so it might still be an interesting versus doing like a week later or two weeks later but um i kind of want to wait a little bit longer but we'll see we'll see how it goes i'll, I'll kind of test the field maybe next week to see if it's, uh, if it's uh, a good versus especially with um rarity one and rarity two i feel like rarity two is going to just automatically win and that's not that's not a fun versus i don't want an easy win Ultra rare here. The Solemn Strike Ultimate Rare. You kind of have to look at it twice because it's hard to tell if it's Ultimate Rare or a, uh, just a regular Ultra Rare. Access Talker Ultra Rare. It might be worth high for an Ultra. The Psycho, the uh, oh, Raiko, the Light Sworn Hunter. Ooh, this actually might be even better. A secret rare variant of the Excess Talker. And then we do get another... Ooh, there's a bend on here. Damn it. It's a bend on this card. A pot of duality. Um, but it's the... Prismatic secret rare? Or platinum secret rare? Well, you can see that bend there in the, in the top left side, I think, is on the screen. That's... It's gonna ding some values, and it's also terrible centering too. So maybe it's not so bad <laughs> to lose this card, I guess. Pot of Duality. I'll check out this price first because I feel like the SS talkers will be more, even even though it's a, a lower rarity. Wow. Okay. It's very surprising. Ten dollars and fifty-two cents. Okay, that actually might be more. Maybe. I don't know. We'll check it out. We'll check it out. I'm always down for little verses, mini verses, if you will. 
or an assess talk. Who, who think, what, what do you think is going to be worth more? The assess talker secret or the uh, pod duality platinum secret? Leave in the comments. If you guess the pod of duality, you are correct because this one is only $5.88. The pod got me. The pod got me. Even, there's so much bendo. There's a lot of bendo on that, uh, that pod car though. Uh, we still got, I think six more maybe. All right, we have the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Ultra, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Super Rare only. The Book of Moon Super. The Gold Sarcophagus Super. And then we have a Ultra Rare of the Rim Brim, the Striking Dragon. And it has that same kind of like weird like shine effect at the very top there. Feels like there's a very common issue there. Ultra Rare, the Coral Dragon. We got a Rescue Cat here. Uh, Ultimate Rare. And then we have a Skill Drain. Um, it's called Collector's Rare. Prismatic Collector's Rare. We got a Bingo Machine Go Secret. And then a Forbidden Lance Secret. All right, check out these two cards. All right, this is actually really decent though. $6.39 for this one. All right, let's check out the cat. Let's check out the cat. Ultimate Rare. I don't know if it's alternative though. Not too shabby at five dollars and twenty-seven cents. See that? Uh, if, if that would have been a uh, versus, that would have been two points. Two points. That's why I feel like uh, Rarity Collection Two is probably going to almost automatically win. Almost. And that, that's not a fair versus. I want to make an interesting versus. All right, a lot of cards here to protect for sure. All right. Ooh, the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, but it's only the uh, Super Rare version. Actually, I kind of want that in the quarter century there. We have the Pearly Pretty Memory, super as well. Uh, Trestrula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Ooh, he makes a return. Okay, super only. And we do get a Silent Swordsman, Ultimate Rare. That looks, that looks very good. That looks very good. And then we have the uh, Collector's Rare of the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Also, it's kind of cool, even with the uh, little dot dust effect or whatever. The Soul in Luna Ultra. And the Unchained Soul of Rage Ultra. The Secret of the Number 60 of the Timelessness. And the Foolish Barrier Secret. Too. All right, we're checking out two cards right now. Let's do the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon first. Prismatic Collector's Rare. $3.27 for this one. Okay, not as high as I thought, but still worthy of $3.91. Down to the wire here. So I haven't seen I haven't seen an extra quarter century rare yet. So uh, I think I only pulled three. And so that might be the ratio per box, potentially is three as it was last year. But if I get a fourth one, that'd be pretty cool. We have the IP Masqueria, and th that's gonna be a uh, ultra only, alternative art. The um, Apollo Bow of the Goddess, ultra only, oh sorry, uh, super only. Rescue Cat, super only. We have the Palmization Ultra. The Ultra of the Wings of Resonant Life. The Droll and Locked Bird. I believe that was an OTS 1, if I recall. Because I, I just did a video on that one a while back. Ultra and the Punch and uh, uh, Psychic and Punisher Ultra. And then we have the Secret of the Skull Miser. And we get is this. I think it is. Oh, we're just talking about this too. Another quarter century rare. So that's number four right now. Wow. And this is the Pressure Planet Wrath. Wrath Sloth. 
quarter century seed rare. So four per box, is that right? All right, $15.55. Very, very nice. Another quarter century to the mix. I honestly prefer the Starlight versus the quarter century rares. I, I think I talked about this in other videos, but like, it's really hard to read the text on the very top, like the name of the card, because of like the way the way that the shine is on those cards. Whereas in a quarter century, or sorry, the uh, Starlight rares, they're a little bit easier, but they still have that same shine effect. All right. We have a super rare of the Fantas uh, Fantastica Dragon Fantasia F Fantasma Phantasma. The Droll and Lock Bird Super. The, the Skill Drain Super. The Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon Ultra. The Cosmic Cyclone Ultra. And then uh, ultimate rare of the pri primal planet, whatever word. Ultimate rare. Collector's rare of the fusion de deployment. See this one. This one doesn't doesn't have the, like the little. What well, it does? It's, it's it's like some some of the like really bright. Some are not not as bright. Like you, there's no like the, the, like little dark dust particles, whatever the dots. You can't, you can't really see it on that card. But it still has the fingerprint edges, so I don't know. Ultra rare, uh, sorry, secret rare of that card, and the Phantom Knight of the Break Sword. Secret. Two cards to check out. All right, this one is a dollar and thirteen cents, and this one is five dollars and seventy-one cents. Now I have two packs left, which means will I get another quarter century rare? I don't know. I don't think I will. I think four per box sounds about right. I don't know. Did you guys, like in the comments, did you guys get five quarter centuries per box? All right, we have the Jest of Desperia. Super only. The Soul and Luna Super. The Cross Out uh, Designator Super. The preparation of rights. Uh, I think this is only an ultra. All right, we have the uh, blue eyes jet dragon ultra. All right, the card that I've, I've been wanting to get, but different different rarity I want it on. But this is the ultra of the solid magician. I kind of want that in uh, in a higher rarity. The XC encore ultra, and then we have the. Platinum Secret Rare, the <laughs> the card I can't pronounce for life of me. Check out that price as well. And then a Secret Rare of the Emergency Transport. Is that okay? Just for some reason, it felt like a different like length to it. Uh, check out this secret, this Ultra Rare, this Sound Magician. For some reason, I feel like this is gonna be worth more, a lot, but maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, it's still decent at a dollar and twelve cents, but not as high as I thought. Wow, decent. <laughs> Eight dollars and thirteen cents for this one. Interesting. Much higher than I thought. All right, final pack, guys. Final pack magic. Do we get another quarter century rare? I don't think we will. But if we get five per box, that'd be pretty insane. I think it'd be pretty much worth it in the end. I think. Maybe, I don't know. We have the Chaos Hunter, super only. The Cosmic Cyclone, super. The Twin Twister, super. The DD Crow Ultra. The Chaos Hunter Ultra. It's like, it's like the same cards, but in this high rarity. <laughs> The Twin Twister Ultra. And then we have another Ultra of the Illusion of Chaos. And guys, we do pull another Quarter Century Rare. And I already got the... Oh, well, do I got this card in Quarter Century Rare? I don't, I don't remember. I think I do. I'll check out that card in a moment. 
And we have the final card here is the Droll and Lockbird Secret. But yes, you get five quarter century rares per box. And this is the Coral Dragon. I'm pretty sure I pulled this one already, quarter century rare. Maybe it was maybe it wasn't quarter century. Yeah, it definitely wasn't this one because it was a it was a, definitely more pricey than this. But this is like the lowest of the low. <laughs> Four dollars and sixty cents. 60 cents for a quarter century secret rare wow wow but yeah five quarter century rares did you guys also get five let me know uh, i'm very very curious about that but interesting box guys interesting box but yeah uh i unfortunately gonna have to stop here for now that was a long video um because i, I was trying to like like find all different rarities and all that jazz and trying to familiarize with them also I had to search for each image card like by itself because it's not listed out at a nice little clear list on the website for the TCG player. Uh, it probably will be maybe like in a few days from now, like two days from now, then you will have an actual list. Maybe tomorrow we'll have the, the, the actual list. But right now you have to like manually search for the prices, going to the card and finding the market price for it. So it, it, was a, it was a struggle to record, but nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like definitely, definitely going to do a versus in the future because I do have a second box here that I have not opened. And of course, the original Rare Collection 1. I think it's going to be probably next week. I don't know, um, but uh, that is going to be a future versus. So definitely get high, get excited for that one. And uh, yeah, and also one pack pulls of these as well. I got five of these for one pack pulls. But that's all I got, guys. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys liking Rarity Collection too? I know for me right now, it's kind of like a mixed bag. Like, I like certain aspects of it. Like, the cards, like, I wasn't as nostalgic for the cards I saw on here as much as the first one. Um, but there's definitely a lot of cards on here that are like, you know, obviously, it had, it had to be like meta, meta cards, right? But uh, if you guys want to know anything more about meta, you probably check out some of the YouTubers, like my boy Zayo. He probably has a you know more idea of what what these cards really mean in in the game as well as uh obviously rocks 34 you know he's always gonna have some insight on these cards than i would but i'm a collector guys as you guys know but uh, yeah and so far i think i'm my money back but as a collector if i would have sold all the cards that high value cards i got i definitely made my money back as a collector but uh i definitely want to try to collect all of the cards 500 plus cards i think it's like Especially with all the alternatives, it's probably gonna be like it's gonna be a lot of cards. Uh, maybe like 600, maybe I don't know. It's gonna be a big binder that you fill out, two big binders probably. But uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. See you next time. My name is Talos. This is Rare Collection Two, and I'll definitely see you next time. Peace.